Hi, I'm Emily Sullivan. I'm the Wetlands Project Coordinator for the Northeast Mass Mosquito Control and Wetlands Management District. Um, we're here today on the Great Marsh at one of our mowing sites. Today we're mowing um, the area after it's been treated with the herbicide. Our equipment is highly specialized. Um, it's been custom fabricated to be low ground pressure. On average, they're about three pounds per square inch um, ground pressure. Um, to give you a sense for what th that translates out to, your average person um, walking across a marsh has a ground pressure of about eight pounds per square inch. Uh, the obvious benefits to having a low ground pressure machine is that you can get into wet areas, soft areas, particularly the marsh areas where Phragmites grows, and you can cause very minimal impact, if any at all. Hi, my name is Tim. I'm employed by the Northeast Mass Mosquito Control and Wetlands Management District. We're here on the Great Marsh on this beautiful sunny day. I'm sitting in a Casbah 270 piston bully, 270 meaning 270 horsepower Mercedes diesel engine. And we're here on the marsh today, uh, removing Phragmite, an invasive species, by the use of this machine, which has on the front of it a Rhino flail mower, which runs at about 11, uh, 1,700 RPMs and a spinning uh, drum with hanging chain teeth that are like this. It's very effective in reducing the height of the Phragmites and exposing the ground below to air and sunlight, which then allows the native plants and seeds to rejuvenate up through and grow. So it's an essential part of any herbicide treatment program is to follow it up with typically one to two years of consistent mowing to make sure those native species can come back in, claim the territory that they originally had. Um, we're typically called in to mow. People will ask us to um, mow on their sites for a number of reasons. Um, my agency is mosquito control, so that is our number one objective. When you have a monoculture like Phragmites, which can grow anywhere from um, a very small sprout to 15, 20 feet in some areas. It's difficult to work your way into it on foot. Um, in some of the older areas, areas that haven't been um, mowed or areas that have never been treated, the undergrowth remains upright. It, it creates an obstruction that you cannot pass through. So one of the reasons why we mow then is to both see what we're doing, but also to allow safe and efficient access. In some cases we're called into mow as a fire suppression. Late in the season Phragmites gets very dry and brittle. Even a small spark or say a cigarette thrown out a window could ignite the entire stand and it goes very quickly. We've been mowing in Essex County for almost, I want to say almost 15, 20 years now and we've obviously perfected the methods we use. There are a number of reasons to control Phragmites, but from the mosquito control perspective, there's largely two reasons. One is access, being able to see the area that you're treating. The other is to allow fish movement through an area. When you mow the Phragmites, you allow fish to get into those areas um, where they wouldn't normally be able to. The fish will eat the mosquito larva and give you your natural control. Fish are on site. They are very effective in controlling mosquitoes. Up to 99% of the population can be controlled by fish. We enjoy partnerships um, with a number of other agencies in this work. So there are many goals. Mosquito control is our goal. Um, it's a win-win for everybody. And we would encourage any Phragmites control project have a mosquito control component. There are a number of benefits to mowing Phragmites after it's been treated. My crew would always bring to my attention is how rapidly things come back into the area once the area has been mowed. They see field mice and obviously the hawks are on the edge looking for those mice. There's deer, there's waterfowl, all sorts of creatures are now back using that area where, whereas before when it was a monoculture of pure frag, um, they were not able to use it. So it's again, just another one of the benefits to 
um, controlling Phragmites. Vision, you can see so much more when your Phragmites is removed from the area. It, next to a control area, I drive by every day. It's wonderful. I can drive by now and for the first time in years, I'm able to see the Merrimack River. That's something you would not be able to say had we not done the work and controlled the Phragmites there. Ecotourism is another big um, feature to the Great Marsh. Anytime you can expose the marsh and see it, um, people are more inclined to go use it, appreciate it, and be out in it and enjoy it. Just one more reason why controlling Phragmites is, is, is such a good, good thing. I'm Emily Sullivan and I work for the Northeast Mass Mosquito Control and Wetlands Management District. And I want to thank you all for allowing me this opportunity and for watching Danger in the Reeds.